What's up, YouTube? Mike here from Tomodachi, and this week we have another episode of Body Bike Check. Some of you guys have been reaching out and asking me what I'm riding, you know, asking about the specs of my bike. So this week I thought I'd do the bike check on my own bike. And this week we're gonna be talking about my S-Works Crux. It's a 52 centimeter. Um, I opted for the Crux because I wanted something that had a little bit bigger tire clearance. In the winter time, I usually will run 35C tires. And in the summer when it's dry, I'll run 32s or 28s. I have an Ultegra 8070 DI2 hydraulic group set. Currently running the uh, RX805 clutch rear derailleur, paired with an 11 to 34 cassette. Perfect dinner plate for the massive hills around here. The crank set I have from a prior rim brake group, so it's a Durace 9100, and I have it outfitted with rotor key rings. Oval, yeah, oval. It's a wormhole that we can go down that I really don't wanna go down whether oval rings make you fast or not. All I can say is that I like them better. I like the oval on my gravel bike, so I decided to get a set for my road bike as well. Road bike being a, uh, a cross bike. I actually don't have a road bike. I ride two cross bikes. Cockpit, I'm running uh, NV stem, NVC posts, you know, got to flex a little bit. Pro Discover 12, flared handlebars. They're technically gravel bars, gravel bars. Uh, I do like the slight flare on the drops and I've recently just started running compact drops before I was a classic Ben guy or die. I'm just realizing now that my fucking neck hurts all the time. So I need to chill out. The older you get, the shorter stem you're gonna run. I mean, I might just be, I might just be weak. For the saddle, I'm running the S-Works Power. Uh, it's a 143 width, carbon railed. I really like the power saddles. Uh, I feel like it really treats my gooch well. Uh, I opted for carbon wheels because their disc was not a fan of carbon rim brake wheels at all. I know that's gonna trigger some of you elitists that are like rim brake or die, but disc brakes are better, man. I have a set of Roval CL32s, awesome wheels. Clocked in at just under 1400 grams for a disc wheel set, it's pretty good. Uh, I believe it's 240 internals, DT Swiss 240 internals, and I am running it with a 54 tooth star ratchet. Put that fucker in bone dry. I know you're supposed to grease it, but I just wanted it to be as loud as possible. For rubber, I've got some Panaracer Gravel Kings. I am a Panaracer ambassador, so they sent me these tires. Big ups to Panaracer. Thank you guys for keeping me outfitted with rubber and keeping me rolling. I'm rolling just the standard Gravel Kings. I don't have the Gravel King Plus. I don't have any of the extra sidewall protection because I wanted to keep weight down as much as possible. So these retail for like $49.99. Being from LA, before this, I was rolling on Victoria courses and those are like 80 bucks a pop, easy. I think these tires are great for what they are. They're durable, they're cheap, they roll pretty fast, they're grippy, and their 32 millimeters are tubeless. Uh, got the KMC gold chain, you know, paired with the gum walls, gum walls and gold chains. X11SL, it's their titanium gold chain. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's just like your chain, man. You know, like Waka. Like Waka. Now you guys know what I'm riding. Once again, my name is Mike and I'm from Tomodachi Cycling. Thanks for watching the Buddy Bike Check. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button because we are going to be doing more of these. And uh, also, if you haven't seen them, we have lots of bike rides filmed. So yeah, if you like things related to bikes and bike rides, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get a notification when we drop new videos. Thanks for watching.